Okay, I'm going to do some testing on this steam generator tonight. Um, see how it does. I'm not going to hook up the superheater yet. Hopefully we'll get a look at the jet stream this time. I'm going to use baking soda for my electrolyte. Nothing's happening here. There is kind of a bit of a reaction going on in there. It's pulling 2.6 amps with no electrolyte in it. Hope that's not electrolysis going. We had just a touch of baking soda in there. That brought it up to 9, 14, 25 amps. I'm going to shut it down. That was way too much electrolyte. Yeah, I'm at like 36 amps. I'm going to have to uh, wash that out and start over. I way overdid it. This tank here is a water tank that I've added that will allow me to enable a trickle into this tank. And also this tank holds a perfect amount to run inside this cylinder. So I'm going to go ahead and drain that tank into this one. Just kind of get an idea of the flow rate of it. Flows pretty good. And the reason why I have this system set up here is this hose comes down and goes just underneath this hose, kind of like this, so that if water does shoot up this hose, it'll just spray back into this. I only want steam coming out of this line, not water. Okay, we're filled up there. Close this valve. I'm going to turn it on. I'm at 5 amps right there with just the leftover baking soda that was in there. Already starting to really do some action in there. I need to shut that off. I accidentally didn't take a temperature read. Completely ruined the whole thing there. Okay, you seen how fast that was? That's got me up to about 93 degrees already in just a couple of seconds. Okay, fire it up again. I may be getting some secondary reaction with the zinc. I'm up to about 8.6 amps right now. I'm at 120 degrees. Outside tank's showing 82 degrees. The water's starting to boil now. <laughs> I have a zinc pipe here, so I'm hoping there ain't some kind of secondary reaction going on. I'm at about 165 degrees, 13 amps, 14 amps now. It's really starting to boil here. Boiling like crazy. There it goes. Wow. I'm at 12 amps. Starting to steam over, as you can see. I'm going to shut that down. I'm going to put the top on this bad boy this time. See what type of geyser we can get going here. Okay, everything's off. Steam blast. I'm at 15 amps. Hold on one second. I'm to make sure this is open. And it is. I need to close this. Okay, here we go. I'm at 9 amps. Eight amps. No visible steam yet. Oh, squirt there it is. I hope you can see that jet. It's putting out a pretty good one. I'm still at about nine amps. Really starting to roar now. Oh yeah, still at about 9 amps, yeah this thing's doing pretty good, I know the computer's not picking up what I see, but I'm definitely liking this, yeah I can't get any temperature readings on this, there's no way that's only 80 degrees. Still at 9 amps, still putting out a great jet of steam.
I'm afraid to run this at pressure right now because I haven't had time to let the glue dry as usual. I got a real problem with letting glue dry. Still going good there. I'm still at nine amps or so. I'm going to shut this down now. I'm really interested to see how much water I use in just that little bit of time. Okay, there's still a good amount of water in there. I'm going to go ahead and fire it back up. At 12 amps, 15 amps, 9 amps. Already boiling again, I can hear it anyway. Some condensation just got shot out. Yeah, I really hope you can see that steam jet. What if we do that? Or I got an idea. What do I do with that jar? This always shows it good. Okay, I'm down about three amps. We must be out of water. Oh yeah, there's about a quarter inch of water left in there. And if any of you guys have any suggestions as to what type of glue I can use to seal this bottom valve with, I would really appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Seven amps. Yeah, that darn seal. By the way, do not stick your face up at steam devices like I just did. I'm a complete idiot. I'm being a dumbass for you, so you don't have to be one. I'm really happy with how long this thing's running. I'm still running 7, 8 amps, which indicates to me i got a good amount of water in there still. Now, this has barely any electrolyte in it whatsoever. I mean, you've seen what I did. I put too much in and then dumped out the water. I didn't even add more electrolyte. Just a residual. There's power in this on baking soda. So very small amount of electrolyte. So you don't have to worry about contamination and all that is what I'm getting at. This thing has a super small amount of electrolyte in it. There is the possibility of secondary reactions taking place. AC electrolysis does take place with certain chemicals and uh, metal plates depending on the metal and all that good stuff. This thing is still running. Now I wish I would have had the stopwatch. I can just time the video when I sit down and edit the film though. I'll let you know what I find. Okay, the data shows that in 19 seconds this thing boils water. At least it did in the first experiment. It did not in the second one. It took 63 seconds to boil water in the second experiment. Um, there was more water that time. Um, six minutes is how long that thing ran before it reached three amps, and there was a quarter inch of water left in it. It was about maybe that deep when we started. I don't know how much water that is exactly. I'm not too worried about the quantified amounts right now. We'll get to that. So technically, you can get 12 minutes of steam out of that thing if you were to fill both reservoirs before you started. And that's what I so I'm definitely happy with this thing. If um, you guys could help me out on uh, what type of glue I can use to fix my problem down here. Some lead solder would probably solve the issue. I use lead free solder on building this thing. Never again. That stuff ain't worth nothing. At least I don't know how to use it. So we're going to end this here. Um, the next pressure test, or next time I do a test, I'm going to do it under pressure. I have a pressure gauge see what type of pressures I can build up. I'm not going to go real high on the pressure. I'm not trying to steam broil myself here. But um, I definitely am waiting for some comments and some feedback on my idea for hooking up two high amperage lines right here. One here and one here. You turn this sucker red hot. Give me some superheated steam. I need to find out if I can hook that mot up to that copper coil without causing some kind of 
fry out on my transformer. There's AC power connected to that whole thing. So if you guys got any info on that, hook me up.